All right. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another cleaning and restoring episode. In this episode, I'll be doing something a little smaller than a console, but bigger than a controller. In a way, it is a controller, but we will be doing the Wii U, the Wii U Draw game tablet. And um, before I say anything, let me just say that all you need, I have a bit of a twitch, jeez, all you need for this is a Phillips head screwdriver, so this is a little bit easier to take apart than some of the other things, like a Wii or a GameCube controller, which I haven't actually done yet, and I don't know if I plan on doing them or not. So, for all, like I said, all you need is a Phillips head, so my dad got me a new screwdriver set, so now I can have all of these different screwdrivers. That's one that has Torx, it has three-wing, or tri-wing, as some people call it, Phillips flathead, you... The only thing it doesn't have is um, a gain screwdriver, of course, so I still can't take anything apart. Before we start taking out the screws, let me just say the screw ports are here, 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 one right above my thumb, here, here, and here. So there's seven in total. Um, first, you're going to want to take this out and your pen out. And um, for some reason, I had a big uh, problem trying to get all the screws out. I, could uns I can unscrew them perfectly fine. Basically, I don't know why, it's just, I can unscrew them, they just don't want to come out of the holes. I can usually get, like, that one was fully, un like, this one's fully unscrewed, because you can see it's starting to come apart already right here. However, once I unscrew it, it just doesn't do anything, basically. It just, the screw stays in there. Some, some screws might fall out, if you're lucky, I don't know. You'll be able to get every screw out once the two halves actually come apart. The halves are actually quite difficult to take apart, though. It's just as hard as the screw is to get out. Skip that one for right now. And um, you may, at a point in this video, feel like you're actually breaking your Wii U Draw game tablet. Um, believe me, you're not. You're not going to break this tablet, as I'm looking down here. I thought it was cracked, actually, but it looks like the plastic's just messed up looking. It's not cracked. But, um... I would also like to state, I actually need an extender for this, that's the reason I can't get these screws up. I would also like to say that, um, if you, um, uh, if you have this hooked up to a Wiimote, you definitely don't want to be doing things to it like I am. Because nothing you want to work on should be connected to a power source, ever. And I mean ever. You don't want to have any console you're trying to take apart, you don't want to have that hooked up to a power source, it's not safe. Most controllers have battery packs, and I actually need a longer screwdriver, so um, let me put this back, and um, I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back and I got a screwdriver that'll be able to reach all these little screws inside here. I guess you're going to need a screwdriver like the one I have, because these screws are in there pretty far down. And sometimes you run into this issue if you have a one that has like a bit in it instead of just like the regular screwdriver. I've run in, I've ran into that issue taking apart my uh, friend's Wii trying to fix it. Didn't get it fixed by the way. I fixed it to a distent, but it still can't read discs, which is the main issue it has. Um, like I was saying before, I ran into this uh, screw issue. You don't want to have anything hooked up to a power supply when you're taking it apart. You, if you're taking apart a console, you don't want it plugged into a wall. If you're taking apart a controller, you don't want batteries in it. If you're taking apart something like this, you don't want it connected to another controller. Alright, so now taking this apart, I've actually taken this apart recently, so it might come a bit apart a bit easier for me. Basically, you're just going to pull the two halves apart. It comes apart at the seam where it goes from gray to white. And it is not easy under any circumstances to get apart. It's, I don't know, you always have to keep unscrewing more screws and seeing if you got them all the way out or not. It's just a pain. And if you notice over here, whoopsie daisy, if you notice over here where the Wiimote goes in, there's not enough room for a screw to get in here, and on the back too, so they actually have it snap in place, and you're almost going to feel like you're breaking it apart whenever you're, ta whenever you're taking it apart, but believe me when I say that if it does make like cracking noises, you should be fine, just, <laughs> there's clips and you can actually see, you won't be able to see it on camera, but right down here, there's little gray clips holding it in place. And it's just basically, this is not an easy thing to get apart. They did not want you to take this apart. So you basically just gotta break it in half. I don't, I don't necessarily mean when I say break it in half, I just mean take it. 
take the two halves apart. This screw seems like it's still in place a little bit. Okay, there we go. All right, so I got everything apart except for over here where the Wii boat connects where it's clipped into place. And honestly, you just need a little bit of the screws just fell out if you heard that. I'll oh, find that actually. Let me pick that up real quick so I don't lose it. Put the screws to the side. If screws start to come out, then that's a good thing, honestly, because you want them to. Now, you heard that loud crack. Nothing broke. It just came unclipped. It sounded horrible, I know, but nothing actually broke. So you're going to want to kind of unfold it the way I did, almost like a book, because it will be connected by a wire. And you can now push each screw out of the hole. They have a sharp bottom to them, so you're going to want to poke it out with a screwdriver probably more than you're going to want to... um. There we go. You're probably going to want to poke them out with like a screwdriver or something more in your finger because these screws are very sharp on the bottom. And if for some reason you can't poke it out, then don't worry about it because leaving the screw in the hole isn't honestly going to kill it. You're just going to want to make sure you don't drop it while washing it or something. Alright, so make sure you keep track of where every screw fell out so you can have them all in one place. I got six out. The seventh one didn't want to come out. That's fine by me. Okay. So now the big issue here is this wire right here is that this wire goes through this wire goes through here and is tied in a knot. So you can't disconnect these two parts at any point. And what the main issue here is, is if you want to clean the inside or outside of this, you're going to have to be careful. Because if you there is a wire here, obviously. There's a wire on the top half of this. This whole piece right here, this gray piece, the bottom half where the pen clips in. You can clean this whole thing. You just got to make sure that you... I would suggest doing it with, like, a wet towel or something rather than soaking it in water. I'm trying to get the other screw out right here while I talk. Because... There we go. Because soaking it in water, it could, it could get to the wire somehow, one way or another. And you don't want that to happen. That's a really dangerous move. The water could get electrified. And just everything could go bad for you. So if you take the top half, you will see that there's this, like, white cord that weaves through here. You're going to want to unweave it like that. And there's um, four screws. They're all Phillips. They're all tiny ones. There's one right here under the wire. Here, here, and here. So you're going to have to take... Whoopsie daisy. You're going to have to take those screws out as well. Now, some of them are going to be a little bit tighter than the other screws were. Like the outside of the game tablet screws. And th these are significantly smaller. So you will be able to notice the difference. And the, the bigger screws that hold the um, two halves of this thing together probably won't fit in these holes. So separating them isn't major as long as you'll be able to notice the distinct difference. I can't get this screw out of the hole. I unscrewed it loose enough, but I can't get it out of the hole. All right, just go on to the next one. Take a screw out. All right, and the last screw right here. And for example, I'm not gonna actually be cleaning this in the video, I'm just taking it apart and putting it back together for you guys to be able to clean your own. Mine is honestly not dirty at all. I expected to open it and find, like, grodiness in it. That was the whitest thing I've ever said. To find grossness in it. But I didn't. There's nothing, like, dirty inside this. The outside is clean because I rarely use this. I only have two games, three games that work for this. I have Wii U Draw Studio, which came with this. I have Pictionary, which I've played a few times with my family at, like, parties and things. And I have a game called Dude's Big Adventure, and I really don't like that game. I did what's called a first play of it, where I videotaped my very first time ever playing the game. Alright, I, I was trying to get the last screw out the whole time. And I'll actually I'll weave this wire a little more. You can see it does go through weave through here also. So after you take the screws out, this little gray piece of plastic, it's going to be clipped in place as well as it was screwed in place. So down the two sides, there's a white clip on either side that you're going to have to pry it out of, basically. And again, this is just like a matter of using a lot of like brute force. Not really brute force, because it's a bit of an exaggeration. But I'm going to actually get this out off camera because it's going to take me a while and a lot of like struggling that I don't want to put on camera. Just pull it out basically and from the two white clips and you should be fine. Okay, so I got the um, gray plastic cover off. What I did was I took a flathead screwdriver and I kind of wedged it. This was in place like right about here. And I wedged it right here between these two, and then I kind of pried it apart and pulled it out, and it came out pretty easily. Now, there are 
on this thing, well, that was loud. On this thing, there's um, little rubber feet that kind of hold the Wiimote in place. You can take those out to get like dirt off that's inside of those. And there's also one on the cover you just took out that you can take off also. So what you're left with is this, and it's just basically a huge motion sensor, or like a touchscreen sensor almost. And you're going to very, very gently pull by these wires over here and slide, let it slide out on its own. You're going to be very gentle because not only is this very fragile, but the only way you can get it out is to pull it by wires, which is not one of the safest things to do. And if you are kind of like me and you're not necessarily cleaning it, you're just taking it apart for shits and giggles, I guess, then don't even worry about taking this out because you're going to have to get it out from under this, this, and this clip. And it's just like what we just took out, that, um, this piece right here. It's just like this. It's a pain to get out because you have to slide it and do all these things. So I'm going to actually leave it in here. So now for the cleaning portion, you can obviously clean all four of these little rubber feet that you took out. You can clean this little cover we took off, this plastic piece right here, and you can attempt to clean inside here. Just remember, be careful. Use like a towel or something covered in cleaner, and you can clean all this too. Same with on this side. I wouldn't even try to clean on the inside just because you're getting really close to the um, motion sensor. I would just worry about like cleaning this cover off, if anything. So now for the putting back together portion, it's a really relatively easy thing to do. You just basically do exactly what you did to take it apart. You put the gray thing in place and it, remember it does kind of take a little forcing to get in but before you do that you got to remember that there was one of the rubber feet in here because I almost forgot to put it back into place. Where does that go? It feels like right here. Is that where it went? Where did this little rubber foot go? Yeah that has to be where it went. Alright, so remember there's one of those little rubber feet in the hole right there. And then put this thing back together by snapping the gray thing in. I would suggest putting the side with the rubber foot in first like this. Making sure it fits into all the little holes and then push it down on the other side. Because the other clip is made for it to slide in like that. Then you're going to get your four, uh, I was about to say fuller, four smaller Phillips head screws and screw them back into place. And this is going to be a significantly shorter episode because not only are we doing something that's smaller, we're doing something with a lot less parts and I'm not cleaning it. So I won't have to give you like tips on how to clean it or anything, even though I already was giving you tips. I can't pick up the screw. If you ever see me struggling to pick up like a screw or a small part, it's because I have really, honestly, no fingernails. I bite my fingernails way too short. And so it's really hard for me to pick up like things like screws. And like when I'm in school, I'll drop lead for a mechanical pencil and I go like this for 35 minutes trying to pick it up and then everyone will get it. So remember the screw goes here, 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 and here. And make sure you're putting in, whoops, make sure you're putting in the smaller screws. Because if you're putting in the bigger ones, they're probably not going to work, honestly. But you can make a valid attempt nonetheless. Also, you'll be seeing me use this um, Cobalt, not a sponsor, screwdriver a lot in videos from now on. Because I needed a tri-wing screwdriver to take apart my friend's Wii to see if I could fix it. I didn't. So my dad, the only way my dad could get a tri-wing is by buying this whole set of screwdrivers and of screw of this screwdriver and these bits. It also came with this extender too. So basically I'll be using that 95% of the time unless I run to a screw that I can't reach like I did in here. So then I'll go back to Old Reliable which is also a Cobalt. Again, not a sponsor of screwdriver. So let's put in this last um, little Phillips head screw. Still can't get it into place. Also, if there's anything you guys want me to take apart on video, as long as I have it and I'm not afraid to take it apart, then I will. Because, like, for example, I'm afraid to take apart my N64. I know how to do it. I'm just, whoops. I'm afraid to do it. Mainly because it, that's my childhood right there. And if I mess it up, I mess it up. And I can't put it back together, then I'm screwed. And a new N64 isn't cheap. So, next year, putting back all um, the little rubber feet that went in. And then you're going to take the um, wire for this little hook and weave it, or this little hook, this little plug, and weave it through exactly how it went. Through here. 
Then it went in a weird way. It went up here. And I was trying to see how this went back in. I feel like I did it right, but then it's not gonna weave back together correctly. Why do I feel like I'm not doing this right? Alright, so I'm assuming that this is how it goes together. It doesn't look right though, so I may have to go back if it's not fitting back together perfectly. It should though. So after you get those back together, you're gonna flip it back over. Put it into place. And the main step you want to get across is make sure everything snaps into place okay. The Wii, this, the skinny side of the Wii metal, yeah, that wire wasn't placed correctly. Was, not, was not. Sorry, so now that I got everything in place right, you're going to take everything and kind of smush it back together, basically, make sure everything fits nice and snug. And then what you want to do is you're going to take this. And this little component I didn't know is for wrapping your Wii strap in whenever you're putting it in here. You're gonna put this back into place after you could after you cleaned it. Sometimes they don't want to go back in, but it should stay now that you've put it back together. It may not like clip into place, but it'll stay to a extent. Mine's staying. Keep the pen out for right now, and then you put the uh, seven bigger Phillips head screws back into place. Again, before you do this, you should make sure that everything fit perfectly. Make sure that this side snaps together, because if it doesn't, you may run into some really bad issues, because I wouldn't understand why it's not. Alright, screw number three. Everyone might be complaining that I'm taking the screws out on video and putting them in on video. It does waste a lot of time, but I mean... I'm the one doing all the work here. You guys can literally click the mouse and skip it. You guys can skip me screwing and unscrewing screws if you want to. Some people want me to do this on video to make sure they're doing it right for one reason or another. Or maybe they don't want to miss anything so they want to watch me take screws out because I might say something helpful. I don't know, but people might want me to do it. So I'm... It's a lot easier on my part to put, do this on video. So I'm going to do it on video. Just, if you're really going to complain... I don't care if you say in the comments that these videos are terrible, that's great on your part, congrats, you can speak proper English. I'm not going to take this out of the video, you guys, all you have to do is click a button and you'll skip this part. So that's why I do this, for people who want me to do this on video. Because I can't satisfy both of you, so I figured I'd satisfy them, and plus it's a lot easier to do this on video, it's a lot less editing on my part. And this last screw goes right by the wire. After you get every screw in, you're going to want to tighten them because some of them may be a little bit loose. And there you go. You got a perfectly clean and new Wii U Draw Game Tablet. You put the pen back into place and it'll stay snugly in the back here. The plug is in place in the right spot and you can plug in the Wii mode and slide it down. You can do whatever you want with this thing. You can draw, you can play whatever games you got for it. That's pretty much all I have for you. So um, if there's anything you want me to take apart, if I have it, I'll do it. And if I'm not too emotionally attached to it, I will take it apart. So um, thank you for watching and leave a like or a subscribe.